Hallelujah to Jesus. Do we? Somebody was building for someone recently, and the blocks they are supposed to make 30 or 35, they are making 50 from it, from the cement. And he gave different number of cement to the person sending the money. He's doing something else here, maximizing the money. So we'll be building for people, they will be building for themselves. So whatever they collect, they will slash it into two. One go for their house, the other one go for. I mean, for how long? The house you are building, who tells you you will sleep there? When you, every house, when you die, will you go with them? I've seen rich men that they can't bury them inside their house. I've seen. They can't bury them inside their house. How many rich men can they bury inside the sitting room? Have you seen it before? Say, that, that's his sitting room, oh, or that's his bedroom. Bury him in the bedroom. The wife will say, no. <laughs> I love my husband, but um, see, the sight of the burial will be true. You know, it's traumatic. So, put him. Ah. That's you. But when you are alive, you are the king of the jungle. It's your room. But they won't bury you there. And that is why, why you kill. That is why you steal. I was telling you on Sunday, so, do you know Volkswagen? Some thieves are robbers because of Volkswagen. They went to jail in those days when Volkswagen newly came. That was what they were hunting. They want to steal Volkswagen. How many people will steal Volkswagen now? That's, that's the problem of, of, the, of following the mundane things of the world. In those days, there was this Samsung that has blue light. How many of it has on like this? Blue light and has one on. Some people, somebody stole it in school, and it was a big shame. If they put that phone down now, even if you see it on the floor, the ringing tone alone. <laughs> Will you even move near? Blue face like this, blue face. The, everything, the best, the best computerized you know system on it is this snake, this, this snake game that you can play. Snake game. That's all. On the phone, no camera, no nothing. And that's why some people stole because of that phone. So you now get to heaven. You didn't die in 2020. You now die in 2050. Where they are already using, you know, high tech. And they say, well, you won't enter heaven. No? Because why? You stole Samsung Blue Horn in 2001. Say, ha! Ah. Ha! <laughs> Samsung Blue Horn. Or uh, Motorola. This Motorola open and close. <laughs> What was the name of that of, of that your phone in those days? Is it say uh, what was it now? It's big back up by the phone look like it back up, like it back up. That's why some people stole. And that's follow unfaithfulness. And number three, how do you know a faithful man? He carries clear conscience. He carries clear conscience. Our conscience are clear. Our conscience are clean. Whatever you say, you can defend it. My conscience is clear about this. It doesn't matter what you feel. My conscience is clear about this. Is your conscience clear? With the reports you give, is your conscience clear? Number two, the man that got rewards. The first one is faithfulness. God rewards a faithful man. And the first one is faithfulness in service, faithfulness in truth, and clear conscience. Clear conscience. Number two, a workman. God rewards a workman. A workman. A workman. A workman. Proverbs 22, verse 29. A workman. A workman. The man that works. Every work as a prophet. Every labor as a prophet. Proverbs 22, verse 29. 
Every Seest work thou. is rewardable. See it, a man. Thou a man diligent in his business. If you see a man who is diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings. He will stand before kings. He shall not stand before me men. He will stand before me men. Before kings. Listen. One of the ways to make name and make good for yourself is through the work you do. If people find it easily to replicate what you do, hallelujah to Jesus, then you have many competitors. Then you have to be struggling. You must take your work above bar. Do you lecture? Take it above bar. Even when you are not well paid, do you sing? Above bar. In those days when I sing praise and worship, you will see the elders tapping themselves. Say, tell the choir director, let them give mic to Mero to sing. Okay? The person singing, ah, I want to go Why? You just focus on one part. You know, the church is made of many people. And as you want to sing, you must consider everybody. They also have God's spirit. They want to be filled too. Hallelujah to Jesus. So if all you do is just paka kweke, paka kweke, the elders will say, they will say, no. You want somebody who can balance. And if all you come to do is just check it, check it, check it, the youth will say, ah, ah. Balancing your work. Can people replicate what you do very easily? Hallelujah to Jesus. How many people come to learn under you is a function of how far you can deliver. If you do things and nobody is interested in it, to even learn from it, know that that thing is not attractive. Know, know that you are not doing anything that can invite people. When you lecture, how, how do your students, how do they feel? Do they feel like, oh, I want to become a lecturer? When you see some policemen dress, you feel like wearing that uniform. Hallelujah to Jesus. Even though they are pol I mean, policemen, the way they dress, you know, I like this person. You will, so, road safety. So, these are yellow people that you know control the, the traffic. The way they do it, you feel like no, this is a good person. This is a nice job. And you see some, even the shoe is like you are wearing right to the left. The bed is face back. And the shirt, the shirt is yellow, but you won't know whether it is yellow or white. And yet it is government supply. Hallelujah to Jesus. When you get to hospital, you see some nurses. You see they are scared. You would think they are doing shango. You, you know this uh, yaoshu. You know the you know the yaoshu they wear white. You will see the way the white will be rolling. Like the only thing they will not hold is this shekere that is in their hand. Nurses. Hallelujah. In those days, we see lecturers that wear nika to class. In, can you imagine lecturers who wear nika to class to come and teach, and you teach students? I told you here, when you appear before people, the way you dress, show your sense of respect, not for yourself, but for the people you are meeting. Many of us don't know. If government calls you, will you dress this way? Why? Because you have a sense of respect for the governor. So when somebody calls you and you dress badly, they will look at you that it's not, you, are, you didn't disrespect yourself, you disrespect the person you are coming to meet. That was why Joseph shaved himself. He shaved himself and came out. Hallelujah. I'm going to meet Pharaoh. Is a respect unto Pharaoh that I dress this way. Glory be to God. A workman. So work open doors for people. And that's why some people, as soon as they do a work for you, that is their head. You will not wish they do another one. We are at some when they do a work for you, you will even begin to publicize them and tell people around this person did this, this person did that, this person did this, person did that. A workman. I told you of the story of a man that paints a cano. His job is to paint the cano. I think I've told it here. And the owner of the cano invited him, please um, take the cano. And help me to paint it. How much is the money? And he, he told him, pay me so so a month. And he began to paint it. And he painted the canoe. 
And the second day, the owner of the Keno, after paying the man, traveled and came back, you know, on a rush and said, Where are my children? Where are my children? They are there. He said, Oh, I learned they took this Keno to the voyage and they travel with it uh, to go and fish. He said, They said, Yes. And, and he looked at the Keno and he called the man that painted the Keno. He said, I forgot to tell you that there was this, there was a hole in this Keno that needed to be fixed. Otherwise, if anybody go out with it, they would have died. He said, I was surprised when I see that you have fixed the hole and you didn't even talk about it. He said, I would have lost all my children for that oversight. But for this work that you have done, you are paid to paint the Keno. But you saw a hole and you fixed it. And the man gave him additional money. Hallelujah to Jesus. For some of you, to fix that hole, you will build another price. Hallelujah. You see some people, to even do something extra, they will build the price. Some bike men, when you say, oh yeah, carry me to that place. When you tell them, please, I want to buy something, they will build the money. And if it's their tire that got punctured, they will tell you to wait. If it's their fuel that got finished, they will tell you to please edge your hole. But for you now to buy something, they can't even sacrifice. Hallelujah to Jesus. Why? It's all about money. All about money. Sometimes I look at people, I laugh. Workman. Say, study to show yourself approved. 2 Timothy 2.15 A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. A workman that needed not to be ashamed. When you are a workman, shame is far from you. Some of you, you apply for some job and they say, come and resume. And it's the fear of resumption in your heart. Why? What you say you can do, you cannot do it in your resume. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. They say, now, that thing you say you can do, we are employing, you come and do it and you begin to fear. Why? A workman, you will be ashamed because you can't do what you said you can do. Open door is a reward of hard work. When you see a man who is hard work, a hard working man, there will be open door for him. Open door for him. Do you know this brother that is playing for us now? That he just played just hard the way he plays in the school. He told me, he said, I just had the way he plays in this, in this school. And I know I, I have to look for this boy. He didn't see him face to face. He just had. He was just playing in this school. What can you do that people will hear and recommend you? Amen. Ah. That people will hear. Colossians chapter 3. Verse 23 and 24. We learned this scripture when we were like um, toddlers, three years, four years old. That's when we learned this scripture in church. Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. Whatever you do, do it heartily. With all your heart. Whatever you do. Some of you, what you do is, it, you, to, even to yourself, is not impressive. To yourself. The clothes you sew, even yourself, you cannot wear it as a man. Hallelujah. A man, you, you are the one that sold the clothes. And say, yeah, bye-bye, bye-bye, war. A man. A man. The food you cook, even yourself cannot eat it. Say, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you pay me, if I let's say, someone, if you move out, you need to eat it. Do you know in this? this I tell them in this dispensation that we have, if you eat food and you and you hear sand, sand inside the food, sand, sand, don't continue the food though. In this dispensation, now people use gas. It's no longer. In those days when our mummies, when they were using grinding, was it now? Still, you would not hear sand inside the food. Now you use everything, technology. You use blender, you use this. And yet somebody will still pour sand inside Indomie. Ah. So is it the egg or the, what? Where did you get sand? You import sand. 
into the food. In this current, everything is gas now. Gas. In those days, firewood. They use firewood. They use you know, the ashes. You know, you have to blow the firewood and do everything. The pot. In fact, some of them use clay pots to cook. And yet, you won't hear sand. So where do people get sand from? Hallelujah to Jesus. What can you do that people will appreciate that when it comes to this thing, please, is this person a workman? Number three, the kind of man that God will reward, a man that prays and fasts. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. A man that prays and fasts. Who is the kind of man that God will receive, that God will, will reward? A man that prays, a man that fasts. Matthew chapter 6, verse 6. But thou, when thou prayest, when you pray, enter into thy closet, mm -hmm. and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret. Your father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. So, open reward is the answer for a secret prayer. Some of you that come that it is public prayer that you do. No, they say no. When you pray in the secret, we will see the reward outside on you. Hallelujah to Jesus. God rewards people outside. Whatever they do in the secret. Some of you cannot give. If you give, everybody must know. If you give something, everybody must know. And you have a record for where you are giving. You are giving things. That's why we don't do some things in this church. You are giving, so you now have what they call tight record. So you, you record tight and they give you tight card. All of you, tight card. So that you can have a record of what you give or what you don't give. Who, who, who cares? Amen? For what? To show what? To give you an award at the end of the, of the year or what? As the best tighter. Yeah, we walk with conscience. Faithfulness of heart. Is the pastor the one, the one to reward you for paying tight? Even is God that rewarded him himself for the one he pays? A man that prays. Read verse 17 and 18 of that scripture. But thou, when thou fastest. So the same thing, when you fast. Anoint thy head. You see now, some people when they fast, you the way you see them, you know they are fasting. And <laughs> wash thy face. Amen. But you see somebody, you know already, are you fasting? See the way you look. The mouth is dry and white. The face, everything. You won't bath. You won't brush because it's fasting. Hallelujah to Jesus. And you can easily know. This person has not eaten, no. Kilo day, say, I'm, I'm fasting in. And because you are fasting, it's on radio, it's on, it's on here. Everybody must know you are fasting. Everybody is on here. He said, when you fast, uh -huh, that thou go made appear, yourself. Make sure you appear. Uh -huh. But when thou fastest, uh -huh. anoint thy head. Anoint your hair. And wash thy face. See now, anointing is important. Anoint yourself. That thou wash your face. That thou appear not unto men. So those who said anointing is bad, you said anoint yourself. Amen. You see now, that's Jesus. Uh huh. Unto men to fast, but unto thy Father, which is in secret. Don't let men notice you are fasting. Glory to God. Don't let them notice you are fasting. But God that sees in secret. Thy father, we see it in secret, shall reward thee openly. He will bring an open reward. So, secret fasting brings open reward. You don't need to announce it. And I fast at 12 o'clock. And today I fast at 1 o'clock. And today I fast at 3 o'clock. You don't need to announce it. And today is 6 o'clock. Today I'm doing biri biri. You don't need to announce it to men. God has sees in secret. So, God reward prayers. God reward fasting. You can see some of the things that you do now. God doesn't reward them. Amen. God doesn't reward the fofo. <laughs> Amen. God doesn't reward Facebooking, all this of your Facebooking, all these things that you do. You know? God doesn't reward watching. 
Nollywood, your Nollywood that you watch. Eh? Some people, Nollywood, we are talking about workmen. You are in the you are in your place of work, and what you do on your computer is to play game. Can you imagine? That's why I love I love at some people. You go to work because of light. You know my ambition. That's why you go to work, not to go and work. And because of that light, you charge your computer and you begin to play game for four hours. Out of eight hours you will spend there. You play game for four hours. Or you watch film, you download film on your phone. You see young generation downloading film. In your night, it is film. When your mates are thinking on the next thing to do in life, on the next business to do. So you watch film all through the night and you wait for somebody to come to give you one thousand. That's why the good thing is thinking all the night. How what is the next move? How will I get my life forward? What is the next business I can do? That one is thinking is great. And you do watch film all through the night. Hallelujah, Jesus. You look at me 